Each of the struggles in our past have been won through hard work, sacrifice, determination, and tenacity. It's up to you to relegate animal experimentation to this dark footnote in the annals of modern medicine. It is up to this movement with their passion, their creativity, their fighting spirit, their unstoppable determination to make animal experimentation a thing of the past. Why do we have to do this? Why can't the scientists see the error of their ways? I did. Oh, they can see it. They can see it, but they're making way too much money. Too many of these frauds enjoy driving their expensive cars or socializing at their country clubs to ever come forward in the numbers needed to make the necessary change. Most physicians, I'm embarrassed to say, live lives frightened and scared, wimps of the healthcare field, privately knowing that animal experimentation doesn't work, but too afraid to step up to the plate and do the right thing. But privately, they know the truth. They know animal experimentation does nothing, and I mean nothing, to help cure disease or save lives. Let me leave you with these final remarks. We will see the end of animal experimentation in our lifetime, I have no doubt. If we continue to be relentless, if we stay focused, if we continue to use all the tactics in our arsenal, we will live to see the day when killing animals in the name of science is a thing of the past. If it is to succeed, the animal advocacy movement, encompassing diverse voices for welfare, rights, and liberation, must embrace a multi-dimensional model of change. We need to educate the public. We need new legislation. And we need direct action. Direct action groups, direct action groups should not be criticized, as they sometimes are, for using excessive force, but rather commended for exercising moderation and restraint. <laughs> Knowing what we know about what our non-human brethren endure in laboratories makes me marvel at our peacefulness so far. My friend Ingrid Newkirk with PETA says it best, and I quote her now, if a concentration camp or a laboratory is burned, that is violence. But if it is left standing, is that not more and worse violence? Isn't the chicken house, isn't the chicken house today's concentration camp? Will we condemn its destruction or condemn its existence? Which is the more violent wish? The world is a violent place, and it's up to each and every one of us to make it less violent by stopping the suffering of animals in laboratories. We owe it to ourselves, our own health, and the health of our loved ones, and most of all, to the innocent, suffering animals in those barren, lonely cages.
say here's one that you all know. Here's one that you should all know. Uh, what month are we in? What month is it? July, July. Okay, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas. <laughs> and leave you with this little Christmas message. Unite the old turkeys this Christmas. Because turkeys just want to have fun. Turkeys are cool and turkeys are wicked. And every turkey has a mouth. Be nice to your turkeys this Christmas. Don't eat it, keep it alive. It could be your mate and not on your plate. Say, yo, turkey man, I'm on your side. I've got lots of friends who are turkeys. And all of them fear Christmas time. They say, Benj, hey, Benj, man, sure. I want to enjoy it, man. But those humans have destroyed it, man. It's a Jamaican turkey. <laughs> those humans are out of their mind. Yes, I've got lots of friends who are turkeys and all have the right to a life not to be caged up and genetically made up by a farmer and his wife. No. Turkeys just want to play a reggae. Turkeys just want to hip hop. Have you ever seen a nice young turkey saying, I cannot wait for the chop? No. Turkeys would like to get presents. Turkeys want to watch Christmas TV. Turkeys are brilliant and turkeys feel pain in many ways like you and me. I once knew a turkey. His name was um, Turkey. He said, Benji, explain to me please, who put the turkey in Christmas and what happened to Christmas trees? I said, I'm not too sure, turkey, but it's got nothing to do with Christ mass. No humans get greedy and waste more than need be and businessmen make lots of cash. So, be nice to your turkeys this Christmas. Invite them indoors for some greens. Let them eat cake. And let them partake in a plate of organic grown beans. Be nice to your turkeys this Christmas. And spare them the cut of the knife. Join Turkeys United. And they'll be delighted. And you'll make new friends for life. Peace. Thank you for coming, we're going to have more of it, and 6, 3, 2, up. Oh.